Hey guys, Tony Lopez Samuel here again. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a logo like this. The link to download all the resources we'll be using will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow soon. Let's get into the magic world of Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, I'll just be creating a new document and I can decide to use any size of my choice. For this design, I'll be using 4x4 inches and I'll press create. Next off is I would like to add a gradient field so that while designing, we can actually see what we are designing. For logo design, you have to have the plan and draw a lot of come draw a lot of sketches and come with a lot of ideas before designing your logo. So because of this design, though we will not be drawing sketches and all that, we are just going to go straight into the logo. But while designing logo, you have to look at functionality and other factors. So basically for this logo i use the text map so i'm just going to go to my text tool pick my text tool and i'm going to be using the font russell one so when i pick the font russell one i'll type on my keyboard I'll press t on my keyboard i'll press pick my move to press ctrl t on my keyboard to transform it out a little bit just like that i'll press ok and next off, I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard and I'll move the T using my Shift key and I'll move it out a little bit. I'll pick my text tool again and I'll click on the second T and right change it to S. So after doing that, I'll press OK and the next thing I'll do after I pick my move tool, I'll move it directly inside just like that, small a little bit. After doing this, the next thing I would like to do is to draw a polygon rectangle tool here. So I will come over here and pick my rectangle tool, my triangle tool, sorry. So I'll just draw a little rectangle, a little triangle, I mean, just like that. And yeah. So after I draw my triangle, I'll make it white. So double click my layer thumbnail and make it white now make sure that there's no stroke now there's no stroke i'll pick my move tool here now i have to zoom in so i'll zoom in just like that and bring my rulers so i'll drag my ruler the first ruler i'll put it at the top of the t i can put off my triangle put the second one and place it under the second t just like that so i'll turn on my triangle and break it here just like that so next up is i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard and rotate it to 90 degrees just like that i'll press ok and move it a little bit here so i'll press ctrl t and i'll reduce the size just like that so after reducing the size to fit in the the i'll reduce the size to fit in the ruler just like that so i'll press ok and i'll just shift it in just like that a little bit and yes so i'll press ctrl o on my keyboard to zoom to fit so next i can pick my triangle to the t and s and group them and rename it to logo so i press ctrl a on my keyboard and i'll center it yes i'll press ctrl d next up is i'll pick my text tool and i'll type to the local someone o Just like that so i can read press ok I click my move to press ctrl t on my keyboard to reduce it just like that so I press ctrl a on my keyboard and center it also press ctrl d and i'll raise the layer up a little bit so after doing that i'll come to my resources panel and i'll pick up my mock-up just like that and i'll press the mock-up i'll open the mock-up just like that so after opening the mock-up i will double click here to edit my mock-up so in delivering logo for your design you have to use a mock-up so you'll be able to use to show your prospect in real life so next off is and be careful of the mock-ups you use use mock-ups that are functional also so i'll move it up into my layer panel and i'll drop it here just like that i'll press ctrl g on my keyboard press ctrl c and I'll expand it just like that. So after expanding it, I press OK 
press Ctrl A on my keyboard and I'll press center and I'll center the both of them. I'll press Ctrl D and I'll press Ctrl S on my keyboard just like that. I'll close this and I'll move to my mockup layer. Yeah. So once it opens, I can just turn off the title layer just like that so that the title does not show and you just have only the logo mockup. So with this, you can just export and you have been able to design the logo and also add the mockup. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video to the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. It's still up with somewhere here and bye.